there my lovelies this is Jana here welcome to my channel if you are new here and if you are not new welcome back so today I'm going to make a little bit of a different video because I have been requested that a lot lately due to the weird times that we're going through which shall pass by the way very soon but uh, you guys have been asking me what I eat in a day or in a week or whatever but uh, and then I'm like it's so a little bit basic what I eat that I didn't even think it worth a video and uh, my food here is very basic so you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna have to bear with me. It has always been but now lately that I have been uh, going plate plant-based-ish so I'm gonna show you what I eat and I start by the very easy breakfast which is oats with whatever dried fruits I have in hand with plant-based milk and any kind of fruit and that is so nice because this keeps me until lunch I mean I don't get cravings I don't get hungry because the oats they are very nice because they release the sugar slowly in your bloodstream and also because they go into your bloodstream literally punching cholesterol away so it's a super super food now for lunch what I usually have for lunch is a big bowl of salad to help the salad to um, sustain for a little bit longer, I also add uh, some um, whole wheat pasta because it's a good kind of carb and uh, a nice dressing. And the dressing that I'm going to show you guys is going to blow your mind because it's the Thousand Islands dressing but plant-based. So we're not going to use sugar. I mean, as in um, refined sugar, we're going to use uh, natural sugars, sugars from uh, raisins or dates and they're not going to use mayonnaise and they're not going to use ketchup so it's going to be delicious kind of salad honestly whatever I have left in my fridge I always have some uh, lettuce and uh, the romaine lettuce just a nice to know kind of thing the romaine lettuce is the one that with the highest amount of protein so that's the one I prefer not that we need that much protein as we think we do because this is a some sort of a myth but uh, I also happen to like the taste and here in Spain it's super super cheap and available year-round so that's my preferred one and then I add with it whatever I have literally and uh, also a little bit of fruit in this case I'm adding apples because um, apples are in season yet uh, still in season and uh, because it adds this um, sweetness and a little, a little bit of crunch to the salad or I just make a sandwich with um, a plant-based bread and a good hummus I make my own hummus without any oil. I use tahini, which is natural oils. I add the chickpeas to the food processor, garlic powder, onion powder. If you want to flavor it with anything that you have in your fridge, I use chipotle a lot to uh, season my hummus or nothing. And then you add the tahini and then you add lemon and blend it until submission for five minutes. The longer you blend, the fluffier it's going to get. Now for dinner, that's the fun part, that's the one I like the most. What I make is usually a basic, st um, a basic stew, okay? And then I make it enough for two or three days and then I season it accordingly, according to uh, the vibe that I want to uh, get to that food. For example, I make the chickpea stew by sauteing some tomatoes and onions. I stir it in water, so no, no oil necessary here. 
salt, garlic powder, onion powder. Then I add the chickpeas, the cooked chickpeas. So the next day, if I want something different, I add some um, cumin, smoked paprika and some oregano to give it a Mexican vibe and then a few drops of lemon. Or I can add some Indian curry to it and then you have some sort of a curry. Uh, and then in the last day, in the third day, because I usually have less, then I add some cooked potatoes to it and I eat with either quinoa or with brown rice or a little bit of whole wheat pasta. So, like I have mentioned, it's a plant-based-ish because I think that I don't want to gain weight <laughs> more than I have to in this quarantine, you know? And that gives me space to play along if I feel peckish and then I want to eat something sweet because that's what we're going to be doing, right? Eating more sweets and carbs than we usually would because we are like kind of not doing much and not spending uh, and not wasting calories, uh, burning calories. So that's a nice thing to keep it basic. And then you want, when you want to splurge, you can go without guilt. So what do you think of this? Let me know in the comments below if you like this and let me know what are you eating? Give me ideas. I want ideas. And um, this is it for today. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so because I release two videos every week and uh, be kind to each other, be patient, okay? It's very important to be patient. We stick together, we're gonna get through this and uh, we're gonna get better, way better, because I believe that. And i see you next time. Have a fabulous week. Bye-bye.